Good morning, everyone. Today's day 26 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And it's also, um, I'm also doing my collection obsession, which is Nana's Kitchen from Mente. And I will have the links down below for those ladies that are people that are playing that. And um, also the links for the Facebook group and the YouTube group for the 30 Days of Sketches. And our sketch artist today is Ruth Ludenden. I hope I'm pronouncing it okay. <laughs> it's pronouncing things is just not my forte, let me tell you that. Okay. So Ruth has a, um, she's got one large photo and then f three little ones and then she has a large star and a little star and a little star down here and it looks like she might have stitched down the center and then she says the title goes here. So um, mine's going to be just a little bit different but you can, you'll be able to tell that it's definitely um, you know inspired by this so again I am doing a recipe for my recipe book and I am going now I'm somebody who it's like we grew up eating corn peas beans carrots potatoes and so eating other vegetables well I guess zucchini is actually a fruit but we treat it like a vegetable uh, I just didn't need a whole lot of these things so it's like it's always kind of difficult for me but um, anyhow I got um, a zucchini, couple of zucchinis from my friend and I thought well I'm gonna try them and then I've had zucchini bread and stuff like that you know where um, you don't really notice that it's zucchini so anyway um, I looked up zucchini um, on YouTube and I found this place called Spain on a Fork and he was making this recipe and it's basically the zucchini and garlic and I have to say he had me at garlic and that's gonna be my title <laughs> so um, anyway it's called Spanish garlic zucchini and basically you wash the zucchini dry it and then you cut them in half-inch slices and then you put them on you know a cutting board or someplace and um, sprinkle them with salt and then flip them over and sprinkle them with salt on the other side and then you set them in a colander to drain for 30 minutes and this will get most of the moisture off and then you take them um, and in the meanwhile you take six cloves of garlic and um, crush them up kind of roughly and um, are roughly chopped <laughs> so funny <laughs> just beat them up a little and you put them in a mortar and then you do um, parsley and by the time you're done you want about um, a half a cup of parsley and I did not even write that on there but I remember that that's what it was okay and then um, you also put that into the mortar and I have to say when I made it I did not have any parsley so I might have thrown in some other herb that I thought would be good with it like oregano or something and it would have just been dried oregano, so it wouldn't have been a whole lot. And then you put some sea salt in that and you pound it up real good and until it's really combined well. And then um, you take the zucchini out of the colander, now it's been 30 minutes, and you put it on a paper towel and pat it dry. Because the reason how come people like don't like zucchini, I guess, is because it's usually too much moisture and anything you do to it it's just become soggy and so you put some extra virgin olive oil one tablespoon in a frying pan and you cook it on each side for about two and a half minutes and then um, and then you put the zucchini on a serving dish and while it's waiting there you take your garlic mixture and now you've already turned down the temperature of your garlic or your pan and you put in another tablespoon of olive oil and you put in the garlic mixture and you cook that for about 30 seconds 
and then you put that on top of the zucchini. And I have to tell you, it was delicious. My husband doesn't even remember eating it. <laughs> but he ate it and he liked it, I remember at the time. so And we really liked it, so I've saved the recipe. Last time, as you know, it's like if I try a recipe and it's no good, I will never use it again. Okay, so I am using this paper here and on the other side it's actually this and I've already cut out the center because it's like I just hate to um, you know I want all my mente I just want it all so anyhow I've cut that out and I've cut it out to the side and I've actually taken out uh, I don't know it's smaller than this one so um, it's probably about 8 by 8 and because this one was a 10 by 10 and then I took off another quarter inch because I'm going to put it over here to the side oh I don't want to do the middle okay let me let me fix that <laughs> I would start over right now but I've already started over this is my third time <laughs> Oh, Terry, Terry, Terry. Okay, what am I going to put this on? Okay, I've got a piece of paper here. Okay. Because that's not going to be in the right place either. Okay. I'm just used to um, just getting right to it, ain't I? Okay, sorry. I took up all that time telling you the recipe and then I just go to tape it all down wrong. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit just on the edge. Like I know what I'm doing this time. <laughs> and I was just going to glue it on the top, but I'm, I've got one more layout I need to do with this, and I've really kind of wiped it out. I don't have too much of it left. Okay, so now I am going to put it right underneath that shelf and just to the right of this door because I want to still see some of the kitchen, even though I'm covering it up with this beautiful plaid. It's like, I like the whole thing. Okay, so I've got that just underneath there and this here. And I'm figuring it's got to be pretty straight. Okay, I think it should be now. I look this way. Huh. Okay, looks pretty straight. Yeah, okay. So, um, now when I did my photo, I did it a 4 by 6 but I've already cut down some of the top because I don't need that. And now I'm going to take and put my recipe right at the bottom of this. And I'm actually going to use this plaid to kind of line it up because um, this is how I roll. <laughs> okay. Okay, and the recipe is a little bit bigger, so it's going to be a little offset, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to kind of double check it and make sure it looks like it's straight. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to be putting that over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm, I'm going to have it mostly to the one side. Oh, I keep thinking there's something there, but it's it's probably garlic. Okay, and then I have the three little pictures, 
and I have it when I first started frying it in the pan and then I have uh, now I must have knew that I was gonna like it I think it's because I sent the recipe to my um, my friend who gave me the zucchini I think that's why I took the pictures because <laughs> I don't I don't know if I was actually knew I was gonna do the recipe book I wanted to do a recipe book but I just couldn't figure out how I could do it and um, I do talk about that in one of my videos how I decided I could work it out where it would work out that I could actually use it okay now I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want it here and lots of times I map but today I'm not matting I really just didn't want to cover up any more of the mint tape paper than what I've already covered up <laughs> because lots of times I have I use the paper to um, I use the paper like part of its embellishments so um, and this time I've covered up so much of the the paper that I thought I'm just not going to add any extra things to it than what I need to have on here. Oh, but I still will embellish, you know. That doesn't count. <laughs> I don't want to have any more. You know, I've got the recipe taking space. I got the photo taking space. And I realize the photo is important. And especially, it's like I love recipe books with photos. And so, Every recipe that I do, I will not put it in my book until it has a photo. <laughs> okay, so I have this. Um, it looks like a little curio cabinet. I think I have everything on here that I need so far. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of skipping ahead. But um, I'm eventually going to have to do my title. Let's see, I kind of want this. I'm gonna try to kind of line it up on a. Well, I think I better start out higher. And I'm not gonna push it down real hard because I'm trying to remember where exactly I had this. Because they have these, like, it looks like a dish towel. Or I think, well, up here you see it, and now you think, okay, it's a curtain. But it really looks like a dish towel. And actually, this is what I would like to have for curtains in my kitchen but I have not been able to find that fabric where I could actually see it in person. I have found one on a website, but it's like, can I see that? Because after um, being at my sister-in-law's and seeing that she bought curtains that just stretched, I'm kind of worried about buying just fabric and not getting to see it first. Okay, I am going to put that right there. It's gonna overlap the on my frying pan a little bit, but that's all right. You can still see it plenty good. Is that proper English? Plenty good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put it over here to the edge of the, the plaid. Oh, and I must feel like I have it in the right place. I'm going to kind of push it down there. Okay, and then I, I've got this little book, and it does say Dream Cook. I never even noticed that before. How cute is that? Okay, so I'm going to kind of stick this in here. Oh, you know what? I think I have it like this. So it overlaps the curio just a little bit. Okay, and then um, since I have to use a colander when I make this, I'm gonna have a colander on this page. And I'm gonna let this overlap the, the curio cabinet. And I'm gonna pretend that this is a frying pan. I mean, I kinda wanna cut off the lid, but I'm not going to. Because it would look odd without, it, or the handle. Okay, and I am going to put a little bit of glue on the handle because otherwise 
I'll be bending it to get glue on it when I'm finished. Okay, and I'm going to put it, it's going to be like it's floating in air, but that's where I want it. <laughs> It's like in front of that little dish towel there. Okay, and then I am going to put on the title and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my title. It's Had Me at Garlic. Because that's how I feel about garlic. <laughs> it's got garlic on it. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> totally my totally my thing. I love garlic. One time I went to um, an Indian restaurant and I love Indian food. And, or, well, it's an Indian restaurant or a Thai restaurant? Maybe it was a Thai restaurant. I like both of them. And um, anyway, you could ask for it extra garlicky, extra hot. And that's how I asked for it. And um, I said, oh yeah, lots, lots of garlic. You know, how most you can put on it. <laughs> And yeah, and I like it hot. And the lady came out three times. Are you sure you want it extra hot? And it's like, yeah, yeah. She came out three times. And then um, she told my son-in-law, I just couldn't give it to her that hot. <laughs> Which is so funny. I really love hot food. And I, and I like it hot with garlic. And it's even better. Okay, um, now I put this little banner here, or bunting like they say in Europe. I like bunting. Okay, and I think I might take some of these dark gray enamel dots and put here, because otherwise it just looks like it's not really hanging to anything, and I feel like it needs to be hanging <laughs> on something. So I'm going to pretend like these are nails, so I want gray ones. So they kind of blend in, but I want want them to be there. Okay, and I see that there's not enough glue right there. So I really needed those to hold them on. If they would have been nails. Okay, and then I have um, this little, these two little golden flowers, or they're kind of like a, oh, kind of like what I want to say, like. Uh, what do they remind me of? I don't know. They're kind of a creamy brown color. So I'm going to take this and put it on this shelf here, or kind of hanging off the shelf. Because I want a little bit of this color pulled up in here because I have it over here. And I'm also going to put some pink down here, so I want some of this up there also. So I'm putting this little just little tiny bit of pink like it's up on the edge of the shelf. And then I have now the reason I come I positioned this like this was so that here was a shelf and then right here at the edge of the cabinet the cabinet's open. And then there's this or like this greenery here and this little pot and before I had it over and I kept trying to find a bigger pot like this because I thought, oh, I just feel like it needs to be there. And I didn't have one. And then I thought, well, what if I slid it over? And that kept it there. I like how it's just this like little hidden decoration, you know, because just behind this, I, I love how it turned out in that spot. Okay, so I'm going to put this flower and I have the laser cuts and the regular are the ones that I cut, fussy cut myself. And I gotta tell you, I love the laser cuts and I usually kind of hoard them until the end. But um, I just had to use this one. It's just so pretty with that cut in between. Okay, and I'm just gonna tuck this to where it's kind of in front of my zucchini here that I cut open so that I could show how yummy it looked to my friend when I was sending her pictures. I'm sure that's why I, did it. I might have sent them to my sister too. 
And so I'm going to stick this little plate back here because I have it. And it's like, I want to use all these little pretty things. And then I have another one of the wooden hearts because I like to do things in three fives or sevens. And so do I want to tuck it underneath the flower or just have it in front? Um, maybe kind of both. And I want my heart upright. Even though it's a little bit over the food, that's okay. Because you can see the whole thing here. It was so good. I had a hard time leaving some for the husband, but I still did. <laughs> okay. Oh, I almost forgot my spoon. Okay, and when... Um, the guy from the Spain on a Fork, and I'm sorry, I don't remember what his name was, but um, he, I would like to try more of his other things. I think I have tried like two other things on his website or on his YouTube channel. And I just wrote down the, you know, the information. You can like log on. I could not figure out how to do it. It's like, I need to have, I need a teenager. <laughs> so he, he would flip them over anyhow with spoons. And now I use the tongs, but he's like, I like to use a spoon, two spoons. So again, I'm using a spoon because that's what he used when he did the recipe. So I'm gonna put that up there. He used a colander. I always um, have a sopping wet towel whenever I cook. For some reason, I wash my hands like way too many times. And so, there's my basic layout. I am going to put some enamel dots and I have some this turquoise color and on my little thing here I have the turquoise and just the small ones. I don't know how I end up with all these little ones. So that's all I'm going to use this time because I thought I'm going to use these up. They are so cute. And I'm just going to kind of mix them in with the flowers, maybe with the leaves. I think I'm going to put one over here. When I would draw flowers, I would always put like little dots. <laughs> it's like, okay, I think this is, I think this is my thing left over from doing that. So I would have like these little dots, like they were kind of like baby's breath in my mind, I guess. And since they're little, I'm gonna stick five here. You know, because that's more than three and less than seven. Oh, and I couldn't even think because it, that was so hard to slide over. <laughs> okay, and up here, I'll probably only use three. And I was really hoping I would use them all. So I don't know. Let's see if I can figure out how I can put more here. So there's three. Hmm. I don't know. I just feel like they don't belong anyplace else. I think that's it. I'll just have to save these for something else. Okay, so that's it for today. Remember to check everybody else out. <coughs> Excuse me. Who is doing the um, collection obsession and also the 30 days of sketches. Oh, I have a cup here. Did I have a plan for this? I don't think so. No, I can't picture where it would go. Nope. Okay, I think that was before I decided I was cutting this off. So I'll have close-ups at the end. Go over and check out the other people that are doing the collection of session and who are doing the 30 days of sketches. I will get through this <laughs> and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.